Uh, we're going to present uh, two device technologies. And I want to ask Patrick to come in and to tell you about uh, biophotos. And he had a display outside. I hope many of you uh, visited and asked him a lot of questions. So we're going to tell you about the company. I'm Patrick Johnson. Uh, I'm not an Amgen alum. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Um, I, I am a 20-year med device exec. Um, prior to joining Biophotos, I spent 10 years as an executive officer of a publicly traded company based in Orange County in the orthopedic segment of the medical device industry. Um, and after 10 years, I came to the conclusion that um, while successfully running my company, I was a more of a contributing to the, the problem of healthcare than the solution of healthcare. So I went looking for a technology that could be commercialized that was non-toxic, non-invasive, and actually promoted healthcare uh, rather than promoting people's bad behavioral habits. Biophotos is the manufacturer of the Saluma, a low-level light therapy device that is FDA cleared for seven separate indications for use in treating skin, muscle, and joint conditions. The company was founded in 2008 with $1.1 million in seed capital from the founders. I joined the company actually four years ago this week, and following a capital restructuring, we raised an additional $2.2 million. In January of 2013, we received our first tranche at FDA clearances on a prescription basis, and then in January of 2014, all of those indications were converted to OTC indications. Last year, we had $800,000 in revenue, and this year we're forecasting $3.5 million in revenue with a break-even profitability in the first half of this year. So currently, we're looking to raise an additional $500,000 in capital to cap off our Series A round. The Research into low-level light therapy dates back until the early 60s with the advent of cold lasers. More recently, NASA researched low-level light therapy as a part of their deep space travel research. Basically, NASA discovered that specific wavelengths of light energy generated by high-intensity LEDs were capable of penetrating the cell membrane, being absorbed into the mitochondria, absorbed by cytochrome C oxidate, and upregulating the production of ATP by three to six times. So essentially what we're doing is we're using light energy to accelerate cellular activity. Now, we've actually done our own research at the prestigious Beckman Laser Institute at UCI and have been able to confirm that that is the mechanism of action in use in phototherapy. Well, why is that important? Well, we know no matter how well we take care of ourselves, as we age, cellular health and function diminishes. It's inevitable. We also know that consumers are becoming more educated about their health care choices, and they're looking for treatments that are safe, convenient, and affordable. Likewise, in the aftermath of the Great Recession, and given the impact of the Affordable Care Act, Healthcare providers are looking for new therapeutic treatments that are safe, proven, and profitable to be incorporated into their practices. So what I'm presenting here today is an opportunity to invest in a company that will have the first low-level light therapy device that's FDA cleared for treating pain management, skin care, and wound healing indications. So what makes the Saluma different? Well, we're the only FDA cleared device that's been cleared for using three different wavelengths of light simultaneously. We have two patents on our proprietary photomodulation algorithms that control a synergistic blend of light to the treatment area. We also have one issued patent on the shape-taking, flexible characteristics of the Saluma that is actually key to its efficacy. And we pro provide a lot of bang for the buck. The predicate devices we used in submitting our 510Ks to the, F the FDA cost 10 to 20 times what the Saluma cost. 
yet those devices are no more, and in some cases, less efficacious at the, as the Saluma. And that is attributable to the shape-taking and conformability of the Saluma's form factor. Now, when you look at the light energy devices on the market, you see large pieces of capital equipment that range from four to $50,000, including class four cold lasers. And we've proven in our research at the Beckman Laser Institute that the Saluma is capable of producing equivalent clinical benefit as class four cold lasers because of its conformability and shapeability. We believe, based upon our current and near-term indications for use, there's, a, that there's about a two to three billion dollar addressable market for the Saluma. Given its indications, the macro market today is 50 billion dollars and 350 million treatments per year. Now at the core of all of our indications for use is accelerated cellular heating, healing. Currently, the Saluma is FDA cleared for six different indications for use in the pain management area, including our, uh, attenuating arthritic pain. We're actually proud that we've just celebrated our one-year anniversary in providing the Saluma to the Semper Fi Fund, who provides the Saluma to wounded and injured Marines, wanting an alternative, a non-toxic alternative, to pain medication because of the high correlation between pain medication and suicide in military veterans. We also have been cleared for one aesthetic indication. That's the treatment of uh, acne vulgaris. And we're currently in front of the FDA for two additional aesthetic indications, the reduction of facial periorbital and perioral wrinkles as well as the reduction of facial skin spots. We believe that we'll have those indications cleared by the middle of the year. But ultimately, we want to be the first company with a low-level light energy device cleared for treating slow and non-healing wounds, specifically diabetic lesions and decubitus ulcers. The research we've been doing at the Beckman Laser Institute is focused primarily on this, and we already have two published peer-reviewed articles in the Journal of Biomedical Optics on how light therapy, and specifically the SLUMA, is effective in accelerating cell migration and cell proliferation in the closing of wounds. Now, when I first looked at light energy products, it struck me that they should wrap the area of treatment that they shouldn't hang over the patient like a french fry warmer. And as it turns out, there's a law of physics, the inverse square law, that says as you double the distance between a light source and a surface of absorption, the amount of energy available for absorption decreases by four times. So what that means is you can have a device significantly more powerful than the Saluma, and therefore significantly more expensive, that's no more efficacious in its therapeutic benefit because of the distance it is from the surface of the skin. And this is really the power of the Saluma. Having said that, we know in controlled wounding that it's desirable not to have the light energy device touch the surface of the skin. And so that's why we introduced the Saluma Elite, a stand-mounted device which retains most of the shape-taking capability of the Saluma, but allows the practitioner to position the device following a deep ablative or surgical procedure in a way where it won't touch and risk infection of that treatment area. So what does this have to do with dermatology and medical aesthetics? Well, Beyond our current FDA indications, there are a variety of applications that are borne out in the cl clinical literature to be effective in using low-level light energy. As we mentioned earlier, very effective in treating uh, acne. The blue light actually creates a phototoxic event, releasing uh, porphyrins uh, that uh, damages the cell membrane of the P. acne bacteria, killing the bacteria, and the red light 
actually knocks down the inflammatory process that's a result of the lesion eruption. Um, red light and infrared light activates fibroblasts, which uh, activates the production of collagen and elastin, resulting in the diminishing of fine lines and wrinkles, as well as skin spots on, on the facial skin. We also know from the clinical literature and anecdotally that blue, red, and infrared light is effective in treating skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Following, again, deep ablative procedures, uh, low-level light therapy is effective in accelerating the healing process and knocking down the inflammation associated with the insult created at the skin. And finally, post-surgical healing, um, activating the fibroblasts, knocking down the inflammation, attenuating pain, and accelerating the closure of, of incisions. So when we started Biophotos, we started it with a mind to exit. As a result, we've been focusing primarily on building a strong brand, building a broad portfolio of IP based on robust scientific research and converting that into FDA indications for use. In recent years, there have been a number of small device companies that have been acquired by large industry leaders in the skincare market. And with our ambitions in the wound healing space, we believe that in three years, we can build the company to 30 million in sales and that a strategic in the wound care space will pay a premium multiple for us on exit. Thank you very much. Thank you.